super fan dreams of having that one-of-a-kind ultimate collectible, we're about to make those dreams come true. This is Super Fan Builds. Let's see if I can get this baby up to 8.8 .8 miles per hour. Michelle Morrow? What are you doing here? I need you to come back with me. Back where? Back to the future. The future. I knew you were going to say that. That was good. I, I'm glad you got that. That was good. That was perfect. But why? Because in the future, we're the hosts of Super Fan Builds. Super Fan Builds? The show where they make a one-of-a-kind collectible for a very lucky super fan? That's the one. I love that show. <sighs> me too. The hosts are mm. such great hosts. Well, if you can't tell, this episode is all about one of my favorite all-time comedy sci-fi classics, Back to the Future. The hit 1985 blockbuster film with groundbreaking special effects? It spawned two sequels and became one of the most successful trilogies of all time. I love recapping things I already know with you. <sighs> Me too, in the, in the future. Yes. We do such a good job. Wait, so why do we have to go back? Like, did something go wrong with the build? No, no, the build is amazing, incredible. But what I need is for you to come back with me for the big reveal. Ah, uh, heavy, Doc. I mean, Michelle. But first, we need to stop and take a little quick trip to visit our super fan and get this build underway. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, our Back to the Future super fan, and Shane from Setmasters. He's worked on over 400 movies and television shows, including Iron Man, The Prestige, and Deadwood. Brandon, thank you so much for graciously inviting us into your nerd cave. You're welcome. We all love Back to the Future. Who doesn't? <laughs> but like, what makes it extra special for you? My dad's been kind of like really into cars. So it's kind of like a deep family thing. He's been into cars for years and he wanted me to be that boy that kind of followed in his footsteps. I've never been into any type of cars or anything like that and Back to the Future came out and the car is my favorite character, period. The DeLorean is the greatest car in my opinion ever made. So whenever we went to any type of car show or anything like that, he's like, sounds like there's gonna be a DeLorean there and I'm like, well, I wanna go and so it was a, it was a nice little bonding thing with him. Is it true that you got your girlfriend and your daughter into watching Back to the Future? My daughter, who's nine, she fell in love with it literally just as much as I did when I was a kid. She's like, I want a Marty costume. Like, can we do this? She dressed up as Marty? She wants to, yeah, she dressed up as Marty. She, oh. likes to be, she likes to be Marty, so. Cool. <laughs> so Shane, uh, this guy's living in a museum for Back to the Future, so I don't know how you're gonna top any of this. I mean, do you have thoughts, questions? Give me some ideas of what we can put into this build for you. Well, I have my bar here and I like to throw time parties. Time parties. Time parties. Right, okay. It's so a Back to the Future, but you come as a different period outfit, 50s, 80s. So anything that maybe that I could help entertain my guests with that would be Back to the Future-ish, which would be awesome. So here you got your, your nerd cave, and so it sounds like you party in here, but I also noticed you have a lot of space outside. So is this something that has to stay inside, or is it something that we could, could we do something outside? No, if you want to build something that's too big to be in a garage, I'm all for it. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay, well, we got a lot of work to do, Brandon, so thank you so much for inviting us over. We will see you soon. We'll see you in the future. Yeah. We gotta that's go cute. back! That's Come cute. on! That's cute. That's Kids! Cute. Let's Thanks. go. Marty! <laughs> Come on, Doc. Good luck. So after meeting Brandon and going out to his place and seeing that amazing collection, it's obvious this guy is a huge Back to the Future super fan, and we've got to go big on this one. So I'm thinking we build him a DeLorean hot tub time machine. Basic idea is we get our hands on a DeLorean, we rip that sucker apart, and we get a hot tub inside and create Party Central. And I know just where to start this build. So Shane, this is our DeLorean facility in California, and we can do everything here from a DeLorean to general maintenance, to frame off, to back to future conversions. That is cool. So what I need to do is actually take a hot tub and put it inside this car and have it still work. Okay, let's go out back and I'll show you some underbodies and we can get an idea how we can make this work. Excellent. Perfect. So Shane, this is a lot of the parts that we have accumulated over the years. And if this is a project that you're really looking at doing, this is something that I recommend you starting out with. This is the underbody of the car. 
and the stainless steel panel is then bolted to this. Okay, so this is it. This everything builds off of this. Yes. So that's a requirement. I've yes. got to have you that. Have, you have to have that. All right, so let me ask you this: how, how hard is it to cut that up? Is that made out of steel, or what's that made out? It's of? made out of fiberglass. So I think you can definitely cut that up and make it work for you. And so these must be the iconic DeLorean doors. These are. Very cool. So we got the doors we're going to need. We're going to need some other panels and things like that. I think it's time we go shopping. Let's do this. Another top secret build. The first thing we need to do is remove all the stainless steel panels from the DeLorean. That's going to give us access to the fiberglass chassis. So we're gonna build this temporary steel frame to ensure that the body of the DeLorean doesn't flex or crack. It also ensures that the car doesn't collapse on the guys while they're working on it. So after taking measurements, John's gonna come back and cut portions of the underbody away and make space for the hot tub. Now that John is good at the insides, so we've built a mock-up to the size and specs of the hot tub. What we're looking for right now is to make sure we can slide the car in and around the hot tub to make sure we have the right dimensions. Max will cut the wood for the deck where the DeLorean will be parked. The deck is then assembled. I'm gonna have Ed work on replicating looks inspired by the movies. First, we patterned out and cut perforated metal for the rear panels of the DeLorean. The challenge to cutting the perforated metal is we're gonna use an angle grinder to do it. It gets pretty sharp and you don't wanna make any mistakes. Ed is shaping the one inch metal strips we cut on the plasma. These strips will serve as the framework for the perforated metal. The pieces will then be welded together and then attached to the car. Underneath the perforated panels, we're gonna run some cool neon. This is some flexible LED lighting that'll give our DeLorean that glowing effect. Sam is gonna fabricate brackets to support the wheels. The steel brackets will then be welded to the frame of the car. This allows the wheels to sit horizontally, giving the DeLorean the appearance that it's floating, like at the end of the original Back to the Future. Next, I'm going to focus on wiring the gold wing doors so they'll open automatically with a remote control. Just a few more adjustments and we'll be able to test out these newly automated doors. Hey guys, I'm here at Set Masters with a special delivery because our builders have been hard at work on one of the coolest builds we've had to date. I'm so excited. Shane. Hey, what's happening? This is awesome. Oh, thank you. Well, I brought you a gift. What do you got for me? Every time machine needs a flux capacitor. Thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. Tell me about the progress of the build right now. Where are we at? Right now, I'm just putting some work into the wiring for okay. some, some added features. But I did just finish up the doors, and we were about to test them. But being that you're here, maybe you wouldn't mind doing the honors. The gold wing doors? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. All you okay. got to do is uh, hit that magic button there, and uh, oh my God. let's just hope they work. <laughs> Perfect. Shane, it's amazing. Awesome, good job, good job. Great job. That is cool. All right, cool. so what do you have left to finish the build? Now that we've got the gold wing doors off the checklist, it's time to work on the actuators. What exactly are the actuators? The actuators are these electric motors that act as lifts, and I gotta get them wired up so they can all at one time lift the car up. The car's gonna lift too? Yeah, we gotta get this DeLorean up off the hot tub so our super fan can slide on into the party. All right, well, I'm gonna let you get to work because this is due to our super fan in just a few days. Yep. I can't wait to see how it goes. All right, hey, it's good to see All you. All right, man. Thanks, Shane. Yep. We gotta get that car up in the air. So check out what I got. So these are 300 pound lift actuators. We're gonna run four of these underneath the car. And so how high can you have to go with this if you want to? These can go, I think, eight inches. So we're gonna have to do a wiring harness and a control system. And I think what we need to see happen here is that we build a relay path. So we're delivering equal amperage to all the motors, right? But the super fan can run it off of one switch. Cool, I like it. Why don't you uh, get underneath the car, figure out where we can put these and see what looks good. Let me get on the car, all right. If you don't mind. I'll do it, do anything. I'm too tall.
Now that Sam has the actuators in place, it's time that we wire each one of them individually. We're gonna run them to relays and then to the battery and be able to operate them off of a single switch. For added support, we've added these pylons, which is essentially a guide rail that Sam will put in place to stabilize the vehicle as it lifts and lowers. Now with the pylons in place, it's time for the moment of truth. It's time to test the actuators. That's how it's done, a 1,200 pound steady lift. I think our super fan's gonna love that. We have just a few more final details to complete on the hot tub time machine. Then it'll be ready for our super fan. Brandon, we're back. And now you are surrounded by some lovely ladies here. We've got yes. Sonia, your girlfriend, and Ireland, your daughter. Also big fans. Today is the big day. Yeah. I mean, Shane and his team have been working hard at, to make you guys something super unique and super special, and I'm so excited to show it to you. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't believe you. No, totally <laughs> like, sell us on it. <laughs> you haven't left this garage, right? No, since we, no, since no, we, no I, I, okay. yeah, she brought me clothes and some meals, but that was about it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so Ireland, is your dad the biggest Back to the Future super fan? Yes. Prove it. Well, he has all this stuff in this room, and he has a lot of stuff inside the house. Yeah, so it just keeps going and going, huh? Yes. All right, well, now it's gonna extend to your front lawn over here. Let's go check out what we got in store. All ready? Yes. Let's yeah. do it. Right. Check it out. Guys, it's your very own DeLorean from Back to the Future. But because this is super fan builds, we had to take it an extra step, something that all the movies left out. You guys ready? Oh, Welcome to your DeLorean <laughs> hot tub time machine. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> that is awesome! Tires look like, like they're floating. Ireland, what are you thinking right now? <sighs> I'm thinking I'm in heaven. <laughs> oh my god. Everything looks super accurate. You've got DMC on the front. Yep. I've seen everything up here. I gotta check the back, and here's just a test of fandom is because it's the hover conversion. I need to see if you have the 2015 license plate. Well, let's check oh, it out. Mess this up. Let's check it okay. out. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! That's even better. Super fan. Super fan. That's awesome. <laughs> Honey, you are. Forgive it. Forget it. Forgive it. Great. Okay, it's love. Perfect. Is it fast? Perfect. Is it fast? That's, that's, so that's, that's, we gotta put our branding on it, all right? Yeah, I don't blame you. You gotta put your sticker. <laughs> Aww. It's gonna be fun. I love yeah. you, Dad. I love you too. <laughs> Daughter. <laughs> John. John. I love you too, time machine. Yeah. <laughs> I love you too, time machine. <laughs> oh, push him out of the way. All right, right. All right, guys, I know you're loving your build, but here to tell you more about it, we got Shane. Hey, guys. Hey, Shane. So do you love it? What's oh happening? <laughs> I think you'll like it. That's yeah. amazing. Oh, man. my God. So check out all the details on the back panel. We've got all of our LED tubing and lighting. We've got a Mr. Fusion home energy reactor. Because this is inspired, we've taken some liberty to kind of make our own version of it, to make it yours. This is one of one DeLorean hot tub time machine. The guys at the shop decided maybe it would be nice to get a little bit of headroom in this thing. So they put some electric actuators on your DeLorean hot tub time machine. I'm gonna fit in the car! Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm claustrophobic and I wouldn't get in his car because yeah. it's too small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when can we get in it? Well, we have a time machine. We could just flash forward to the future to one of your time parties. Time party. Oh, time party. All right, here's your keys. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. You guys having fun in there? Yes! yes. Awesome. God, I want to get in. I know, right? Well, it looks like we have another satisfied superfan. If you know somebody that you'd like to nominate to be a superfan, please write us at superfan at superfanbuilds.org. And until next time, wow. thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. I'm getting in. Click to the left to watch us build a toothless couch, or click to the right to keep up with the rest of our builds. New episodes every Tuesday on Go90. Thank <laughs> you.